The city of San Diego is suing its own retirement system in an effort to make city employees pay a larger share into the pension fund. San Diego Union Tribune staff writer Craig Gustafson joins us to explain the motivation behind the lawsuit and the impact it could have on the city's pension deficit. So what is the city hoping to, to gain by suing its own employee retirement system? Well, the bottom line is they want to reduce the amount of money that the city and taxpayers are putting into the pension system every year. And to do that, uh, they are, have filed this lawsuit to try to get the contribution rates of employees to be increased. And so there's more of a fair balance between how much taxpayers and employees are putting into the system. Fair balance. It's interesting. This came out after City Attorney Jan Goldsmith uh, issued a legal opinion. And it was based on his interpretation of the city charter. He said that the charter says the city and its employees shall contribute substantially equal amounts to the pension fund. So is how did that ruling lead to this action substantially equal it sounds pretty clear to me well first you have to under understand how the city funds its pension system okay. and and how they do that is every year millions of dollars are, of taxpayer dollars are put into the system as well as millions from the employees and uh, that money is pulled together in an investment fund and that would pay out the current and future retiree benefits and what Jan Goldsmith is saying is according to the city charter that both sides should put in substantially equal portions but up and but historically uh, the city has paid a, a big chunk of what the workers are supposed to pay uh, through labor deals and whatnot so that was actually agreed upon though with the with the labor deals wasn't it absolutely yes. yeah uh, my understanding is that the the city put in its half and then also put in part of what the employees contribution should be yes but now what Goldsmith is saying is that uh, because of the investment losses over the past few years that uh, that the city shouldn't bear all the costs of those investment losses that both sides should should split those losses and pay their half what are we talking about in terms of money it, well in his losses he says it's about 80 million dollars of the payment that's going to be made on July 1st so 40 for the city 40 for the employees and that could result in every city employee putting in as much as losing as much as four thousand dollars out of their paycheck because that will go into the pension no matter how much or how little they earn well it may be you know that's an average oh, I so see. I mean it could be obviously people who ha make a higher salary would get a would get a larger pension would have to probably pay more than the four thousand so there is that sort of axe hanging there a four thousand dollar average out of the employees salaries how might that affect the negotiating power, let's say, that the mayor and the council have with the labor unions? And some believe that's the whole point of this lawsuit, is to get the unions back to the table, put them in an untenable situation where their employees are crying foul because they're getting less take-home pay, and that would force the unions potentially to return to the negotiating table and say, let's work out a new pension system, let's do different tiers so, you know, different employees get you know, can select different options and, and wouldn't have to pay so much out of their, out of their check. So this is now in the court, and do we have any idea? Uh, you said something about July 1st. That's when the city would have to make its payments. So can we expect it to be decided before July 1st? Potentially. I mean, uh, Jan Goldsmith, the city attorney, has asked the judge to make a decision before July 1st because at that point, once the city makes their $80 million payment, uh, there's really nothing the city can do to go back and make city employees can contribute more. You know, there was some other news uh, having to do with pensions. Uh, District Attorney Bonnie Dumanis dismissed conflict of interest charges against six former pension board officials. Uh, why were those charges dismissed? Basically, she was losing in court. Uh, the state Supreme Court said uh, uh, against five of the six individuals that she could not proceed with charges. And on a sixth individual, they said she could proceed, but her, in her mind, the, her case had been substantially undermined and that she decided to cut her losses at that point and just drop the case entirely. There is a, another part of the case, though, that's in federal court now that's being appealed. Is that, is that the case now? Yeah, the same. The, the federal prosecutors have made the same charges against uh, some of the same individuals and then some additional individuals, and that case is still going on. Uh, it, the f federal court has appealed a ruling to dismiss, the, dismiss those charges, uh, and so that, that appeal is in the process. So okay. it's not over yet. Not over yet. Uh, well, I thank you very much. We'll keep watching it with you. Thanks, Craig Gustafson.